Golly G. Willikers, Batman. Let's uh let's uh cross our fingers for this one. I need to shrink it a little bit. All right. Okay. Uh, yes, this is the uh, se sequel to Undertale. Select the head that you prefer. Oh, that is morbid as fuck. Um, we're gonna the head that I prefer. Select the torso. I like these customizations. I work in traditional and digital art. I'm still learning the tricks on pixel and animation. Dude, I would love to learn pixel art. You know what? I like the two little dots. I'm gonna go with that one. Select the legs. Oh lord. There's just so many options. Gosh, um, you know, I just really don't know. I accept. You have created a wonderful form. What is your favorite food? Sweet, soft, sour, salty, pain, cold. Um, you know, I have no idea. It, I mean, let, can I? It, no, it doesn't let me full screen it. Pain. You know, personally, me, I'm a, I, I've got a massive sweet tooth. So, we're going to try that out. What is your favorite blood type? I don't believe C or D is actually a blood type. But we're always gonna go with the D. Blue. Give it a gift. Blind. I'm hopeful. I have hope. Yeah, I've answered honestly. I accept the possibility of pain and seizure. Name your vessel. What are we naming it, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, I need help naming this poor, poor soul. Tofu. You know, I was thinking about that. Yeah, we'll just keep it there. My boy. We're gonna name it Tofu.
We called it tofu. Uh, my name is Chris. Uh, sure, yeah. You're about to meet someone very, very wonderful. Chris. Wow. Shut the fuck up. The main character is named Chris? But no, it's because I picked Chris. Fix mic? What's wrong with my microphone? Is it just you, DPC, or is it someone else? The main character is Chris. Mike's fine. Mike seems good. Yo, this looks just like me when I was a fucking 16-year-old shitlord. The drawer is mostly empty, except for a school cross county country shirt with a tear in it. Our CDs under the bed, classical, jazz, religious, ska. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. No, my name is actually Chris. My name is Chris spelled with a K. Like, I'm not, I'm not fucking with you. That's actually my first name. Um, it's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. It's a red wagon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Closed drawer. Dude, what the fuck? Goat mom? Oh, volume was still playing on his. It's a toilet. Flush it. Yes. Yay! <laughs> if I picked another name, he'd still be Chris. Oh, that is eerie as fuck. You looked inside the sink cupboard? There's a can of Icy Cool Boys body spray. Spray for the boys. Flaming hot pizza flavor. Seems to be almost entirely full. That's nice. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo, and a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Just like before. Alright, Tove, I'm uh, head to sleep. Good luck with the rest of the stream as I will probably be up for the end of it. Thank you, Detrivance. Have a good uh, have a good night. There's some cinnamon batter caked on the stovetop. God damn cinnamon. I told her I like butterscotch. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. It's a trash can. Somehow, it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. Trash bags, man. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. Very true. It's a cherry all. The beloved living room chair. Okay. So you guys are not fucking with me. Like, this person's name is actually Chris. No matter what I named my character, it would still be Chris. That is eerie as fuck. As real visits, but I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? 
Yo, Shovda with the host. What's up, Shovda? How's the volume, guys? Undyne! Yo, does everyone have a... Oh, C Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so, walk around and find a partner, okay? Oh lordy. We are in this. Oh my god. I remember all the voices I did for every character, so this is... Peachy. No. Um, of course, I want to be Temtem. Tem already have partner. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Uh, the J Renfro. Yes, you have permission to post your Deviant art if you'd like. Um, and thanks for the follow. Show up earlier next time. I ended up having a partner with Snowy. Now he keeps turning up to me and saying, Howdy, partner, like a cowboy. I don't remember you. Yo, thank you, Sarah. Taken. Okay. What about the what about the slithery boy? So what? I'm guessing. Okay. So let, here, here's my thought. Right. There's two empty desks. I'm gonna ask everyone, and what's gonna happen is they're all gonna be fucking doing their own thing, and then someone's gonna walk in. Sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. Anime school work and hey Chris, can you show us your partner yet? No. He has a bunch of roses. The computer's wallpaper is a rotating slideshow of nature images, and rarely an image of two buff superheroes embracing, blushing. It seems to be time for class. Okay, we're gonna choose the deer chick. Now, well, what are you saying? She was just saying, we're fine, being alone. Actually, I just wanted to know if... Noel, can you please speak up? I swear to you guys, I have not seen this game before. It's just the clues were so obvious. Come on, you go around. There's two fucking desks. One of them's empty because you're the other one. And everyone's denying you like come on come on oh that is oh no you're fine we're just uh Susie parties for the next group project and um Susie you're with Chris great I don't know what kind of voice to give Susie now that everyone's here I'll write the assignment it's perfect we know you haven't seen it, otherwise you would have just decided to be partners with Noel. Give her a manly voice. Alright. 
I'll try and crank down my voice a few notches. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and you all know I can't start a class without some. Female manly? I'm not, I don't know what that means. Nor do I understand how to do that. How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Give her the I can easily kick your ass voice. Oh, I'm not good at this kind of shit. Like a younger undying. Well, Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. I'm gonna try and make her sassy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make I'm gonna try and make Susie. It's gonna be sassy Susie. Okay. And, and Chris, can you go with her and make sure she um uh, actually gets it and um stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. Well. Don't you love just being volunteered? Did she just eat the chalk? God, I just don't know. Maybe my normal voice will fit? Let's give it a shot. Chris. Didn't see you there. Hey. You didn't see anything just now, did you? Hmm. You can't even say? I'm trying here, guys. Chris. Oh, 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 oh. You're getting uncomfortable. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. You think just cause you don't say anything, I can tell exactly what you're thinking? It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. Haha, <laughs> come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So, congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just, let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger, <laughs> why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel? You know, I'm so shocked, I can't even say that with the proper voice. Nah. Chris? You got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. All right, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. I, I, I hope this voice is doing everyone justice. Let's go, freak. Damn. Susie's not sassy. She's just a fucking bitch. Is Susie even a girl? Do we know of this yet? God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. She is a girl? Okay, just, just want to clarify. Uh, come on, freak. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun.
Oh, she's even fucking scared. Creepy sensual? I'm not a voice actor, guys. Hey, uh, K Chris, is it me or is it really dark in there? A derpy brontosaurus? I was thinking more of a horse. What's the hold up, Chris? <laughs> you gonna go in or what? Fine. If you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... Is my voice topping out? Like, is there a cracking from me being so loud? Um, please let me know. We'll both go in at the same time. A little peeking? Okay. I turned it down just a notch and I'm moving my my mic further away. Thank you, Gran. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old pappers. Pa papers. Pappers. Papers. Pap pappers. Fuck you. Let's try to find the light switch. Yeah, fuck all of you. Okay? <laughs> pappers. <laughs> Oh god, I am tired. That's weird. I can't find a switch. I guess it's further in. What is Gremlin now? I mean, I don't question anybody. Almost ever. You think we'd have reached the end by now? Grand butt. Name change time. <laughs> Damn hoarders and their pampers. Hey Chris, I think this closet's uh broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Elvis wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. What the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us. The Pappers are wiggling. Oh no, not again. Please, not again. Another bed of flowers. Why do I look all badass? Oh boy. I mean, I don't really own any belly shirts, but let me tell you one thing. It's too dark to see anything. Not creepy. More eyeballs. I see that sh shadow creeping out. 
It's too dark to see anything. You know, I have no idea, Sinri. Oh no. Really? You want it faster if you hold shift? Oh, thank you. That's really helpful. The glow shard. Turn on auto run like a sane individual. No, I don't want to quit. How do I open up? There we go. What am I trying to accomplish? Okay. Oh, this is a cool puzzle. Okay. Easy enough. This shit is creepy as fuck. Hey, back off! Come any closer now! Chris? Phew! Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass! Unless you want to get clocked in the face. Anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. Um, where is here anyway? It doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You get us out. Lead the way, Chris. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that's that's me literally walking next to anybody. Any idea what they want? Okay. I figured as much. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. I got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in the building up there. It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. It's locked. Where are the rides then? Maybe they abandoned it because there weren't any. It's locked. It's locked. 
In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Oh. A castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? <laughs> Welcome, heroes! Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please come forward, both of you. Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Very well, then. Lore! Once upon a time, a legend was whispered amongst shadows. It was a legend of hope, a legend of dreams, a legend of dark, a legend of light. This is the legend of Deltarune. Okay, that's pretty cool. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror, and the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at world's edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Only they conceal the fountains and banish the angels' heaven. Only then will balance be restored and the world saved from destruction. The geyser that gives this land form stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark <gasps> begins to shift. All right. All right. This game looks so fucking badass. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend. That, de that despite whatever enemies you may face, you too have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? <laughs> nah. What? Me? Some kind of hero or something? <laughs> you got the wrong person. <laughs> but Susie, without you, the, the world will... So what? The world gets destroyed? It's none of my damn business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. Oh, got you. That makes sense. If you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait! 